Hey guys, Cassie Cosley here. So excited that you are here. You are at the point where you are ready to create your branded website and I am thrilled that I'm going to be able to help you with that. Um, I think it's so important that you brand yourself and in order to do that, you really need a branded website and get out of using um, your distributed website. And so the company that I use for building a website is called Wix and I like to use this because they give you the capability of building a website completely free. You can upgrade. There's upgrade choices um, and it gives you some additional features and functionality when you upgrade, but you can completely build and stand up your website for free with everything that you need to get your business up and running and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you will find beneath this video is the link on how to get your free website and so if you click that link you're going to be able to go through different templates um, that are completely free for you. You can go and find one that you like. For the sake of this video um, I'm going to use the beauty vlog. I just kind of like the way that it is um, set up and the way that it flows. It flows very nicely. But as you can see, when you go in here, there are so many different templates based off of your uh, your business and, and what your your different products are and how you want to have it set up. There's also one for blogs and forums and you can just go through here and find one that you really like and notice, just pay attention to how it is set up, the design, the style of it, not necessarily the content that's inside of it when you select the one that's right for you. So the one that we're going to be using for this demonstration is going to be Beauty Vlog. And so this is how it looks and how it's structured. I just really like this style. And so when you're ready to, to move forward, you're going to click edit this site. And so you're going to completely be able to do this and stand it up for free through Wix. So we're going to give it just a minute here. It's going to do its thing. It's adding the magic. And so once you get inside, you're going to see a few different things. Now what I love about Wix, and I have used different types of website providers, and I fell back to Wix just because of the simplicity of it and how user friendly it is. But you're going to notice some uh, different tools over here on the left side. And then you're also going to notice another tool tip over here on the right side that you can um, drag and drop wherever you want to, you can also click to exit that. You're going to see um, <clears throat> your toolbar at the top. And at the top, if you hover over here, um, at when you hover site, it gives you some additional uh, features and functionality there, as well as settings your tools, your code. We're not going to do anything with these right here or the help. Um, if you click the the little magnifying glass, it's going to give you a view that brings it back so you can kind of move things around. So if you wanted to click this and pull it down, it gives you that ability to move bulk things around on your site as you're going through and editing things. And then you can zoom it back out. Just click that exit button there. Um, you have a save feature here. And then this little preview, this eyeball here, is if you want to see what it looks like in production, so a live view. So if you click that little eyeball there, then it's going to show you what it looks like uh, on live view. So if somebody went to your website, this is what they would see. And this is a great way to test things out and test links and stuff to make sure that they go and navigate to where you want them to. And then you can just go back to your editor. So we are in edit mode right now. And whenever you're ready to make your website live, all you have to do is click that publish button. That's how easy it is. Now, everything that you see here is completely customizable. So if you wanted to change this, you can click it, click it again, and you can go in there and change it. And then you get the little box that pops up here. And you can change your font size or your font. You can change the size. You can change the color. And you can also add some effects and things like that. So I just want you to know that everything that you see here is completely customizable, okay? Now, over here on the left side, we're gonna talk about this just a second. 
So here are menus and pages. So this is your actual menu bar. So if you go to the top of your website, you're going to have a menu bar up here. So that's what this is. This is how you control that menu bar. So if you double click that, you can change the name of that. And um, I'm going to talk through what menus you really want to have or pages that you would want to have to start your, your business or your website. Okay, so you can, you can change those. And you can also come over here and click this. And you can hide your page. So I do this a lot if I have a page that I don't want others to see or if I want them to click to get to another page, I will hide it. You can also create a sub page. So for example, on my website, if I hover here, it has sub pages, whereas this one does not. That's what a sub page is. Okay, and then you can also drag it and move it to another area. So if I wanted hairstyling or skin or whatnot, I can just click on it, drag it and move it. Okay, so that is what that is. If you click here, this is your background. So if you notice the background here, now I think that might be an image. If you want your background to be a different color, you can click that and change your color. We can change the entire background of your entire website to a different color or shade. You can also make it an image. And if you click image, you can add your own picture or you can select pictures from Wix. So Wix has pictures and let's just pick gradient ocean so you can see what it looks like. And you can see the background there in the very back that's what it looks like what I would recommend your website to have a solid white background it just flows better because you're gonna have other things going on your website that's gonna draw attention away from your background right here is a big key function that you're gonna use quite often so if you click add this gives you the ability to add all types of objects and things to your website. So when you click add, this is how you add a new text box. And you'll notice that it gives you different types of options, different types of font that's already preset in here for you. So if you want to add a new text box, you would just come in here and click the one that you want. If it doesn't click it right away, I usually drag and drop it. And then you can just move it wherever it is that you would like for it to go. Click that add button again, and here's an image box. So you can come in here and you can select free images from Wix. And they have quite a selection of free images that you can choose from. Um, I like these, the laptop coffee. I mean, you can come in here and you can also do a search in here. Um, there is Shutterstock, but you have to pay for these images. And when you hover over them, it tells you the cost of these. Or you can always upload your own image if you have one saved already. Okay, so that's if you're wanting to add an image. So let's just show you what that looks like. Then when you add it, if you see these little dots on the end of the image, you can hover your mouse over them and then you can resize your image. And then you can click it and move it wherever you want to move it to. You can also crop it. It gives you these additional functionalities here. So if I want to crop it, I can just come in here and crop my image to the size that I want and click my checkbox. Or you can double click it and it automatically pulls in the crop feature. Okay. Then you also have these other items that you can add. There's gallery where if you want to add multiple images, you can select a gallery that you would like and it will add a gallery in here. It's thinking. And then it's going to allow you to add the different media, different images that you want in your gallery. And so when you add this, you're going to get these little boxes in here. 
click this and then you're going to be able to delete the existing media or just replace it with the images that you want. Okay. So we're just going to delete that. So you can go through these at your leisure. You can add all types of things. If you want to add a button, there's different types of buttons in there. <clears throat> you can add a box, different shapes and things like that. So you can go through here and see the different types of objects and materials that you can add to your website. The next one are, are apps. So if you're wanting to add additional functionality, this is where you want to go. So you can go to apps and you can browse and you can take a look. Um, there are different things that you can do with your website, different powerful tools and functionality that you can add. Um, one of the most popular one that I use is forms. And if you click in here, uh, you can see the different types of forms and I'll go through uh, what that looks like and how I use it. But the one that I use most often is the Wix forms. And this is how I get uh, my clients information and I use this for funneling and you'll learn more about that okay and then this is any uploads that you have and then if you're blogging so what we're gonna do really quickly is <clears throat> you have your title so the we'll talk about the pages here so what I recommend you start with you're always going to have a home page and this is the designated page that your customer will come to when they see your website and this is where you will have the information that's going to grab their attention uh, it's going to be the information that's going to tell them what you do what you have to offer you're going to have an about page as well and that's going to give them a little more information about you it's going to be your story um, and then if you hop over to mine this is my about page here you're going to have your blog and that's where you're going to be giving them content that is a value that's going to keep them coming back to your page um, for me i also have resources which is where i have free giveaways for them which tie back into my content which is my blog and then you're going to have a partner page or join me type of page um, if you have, you know, a company that you're with and you are wanting them to work with you. They need to know how to do that. So you're going to want to build that out and kind of see what that looks like. And also a contact page. They need to know how to get in touch with you should they want more information or have questions. So those are the key pages that I would recommend to start out with and start building upon. So in working on your home page, what I recommend you have is definitely a picture of who you are um, so they can recognize you and you're branding yourself. Um, if you have your logo, you know, you can have your logo there, but I would have your logo at the very top of your page. And so you want a logo that has a transparent background um, and you can have it at the top of your page or like in this one, it's over here on the left side. So you can structure this. Wait, <laughs> we're on the wrong thing. <laughs> you can structure this to look however you want it to. And so what we're going to do here is that's where we're first going to start. We are going to manage. We're going to click this and navigate and we're going to manage our menu. And then you can start naming these pages. Now, sometimes I find it easier to just delete the page and start fresh. But if you go to the page and you kind of like how it's set up, you can keep the page and then just edit the page. For me, um, with the template, I found it easier just to delete the page and start with a fresh page. Um, but you can go and look at these pages and kind of see what they look like. See if you like the structure. Um, for the beauty vlog, I weren't going to use anything on these pages. Uh, I, I like the contact page, so we may keep that one. Uh, the home page, we can definitely keep. So <clears throat> what we will do, you can come up here and you can design this however you want. If you want to keep the logo on the left side, you can keep it on the left side. If you want it above your page, you can make it above your page. And how you would do that, you can... You see when I'm here, you see how my arrow 
changes to an up and down arrow. You can click and then you can drag that down then. And then you can proceed to move this wherever you want, however you want. You can also design it. So if you click this and design it, this is where you're going to be able to design what it looks like when people hover over it, click on it, um, however you want it to look. I like to do the customized look and I'll come in here and click on these to see which one I like until I land, uh, land on one that's really favorable to my style. And then you can change the background color. Now, when you're branding, and we've already talked about your colors, uh, your brand, you want to make sure that these follow in line with what your brand colors are. So you can just go ahead and select your brand colors, whatever those are. For me, my brand colors are purple and teal. So I'm going to pick teal. And so that's going to be the backdrop color. The background color is going to be purple. So let's see, the text is a dark purple. Um, you want to make sure it's easy for people to read. So I might actually change that to black. And when people hover over it, what is it going to change to? Oh no, let's keep it black. When people click it, I don't like that color. When people click it, there it is, this little dropper, I want it to be that teal color. So that's what it's going to look like when they click it, when they hover over it. I also want it to be that color. And then regular, it can be that color. So you can play around with this until you get it looking how you want it. You can change the font if you would like. Let's make the font a little darker. Here we go. And I don't think that I want it highlighted at first. I think that I want it just if they're hovering over it so it looks like that. Okay. So, and then I'm going to come in here and we're going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. And we're going to add our logo. So by now you should already have your logo if you do not have your logo, you need to create your logo. It's very essential that people know how to quickly identify who you are through your logo. And if you guys missed how to do that, that's through Build Your Brand training that I provided. And I use Canva. I also provide the name of a resource if you want to hire someone to create your brand for you. So here's my logo, and I'm going to crop it. So we're just going to come in and crop this. Drag this out this way. And, and click OK. And then I'm just going to drag my corner and resize. And then we're going to put it right here in the corner. So now I have my logo and I have my pages. I'm going to come and manage my pages and I'm going to delete this one. I don't need that one. And I'm going to delete this one. I don't need that one. I don't need that one. Now you're not going to have to create one for your blog. Um, it will automatically be created for you and I'm going to explain that in a second. So we're going to need one for home, one for about, one for contact. We're going to need one for work with Cassie or whatever um, you want to call that one. And we're going to move that one to right before contact. So we're going to have, and then you can also have one for your resources if you're going to be using your content to also be providing um, free resources to your clients so you can create funneling to bring clients to you. Okay, so we're going to have home about resources, work with you, contacts, and then you're going to have your blog. So as soon as you create start blogging, it's going to automatically add the blog for you. Okay, so you don't have to add that one. Okay, so now you can create your 
first image. And so if you look at mine, I do create a catchy title there or your tag, whatever your tagline is. Um, I did add a couple of icons there that provide you to where my channels are. And then I provide you with my first giveaway. So I do feel like this is essential to creating that clientele to come to you and your website and your brand. So if you haven't yet started thinking about what it is that you can provide to your clients as a giveaway, this is a great time to do that. So what I would like for you to do is think about what value can you give to your clients? And for me, it was a free daily ultimate blueprint. And if you haven't downloaded this yet, this is a great resource that you can go and grab for free. Download that. Um, and what it does, it, it gives something of value to your clients absolutely free. And it's a good resource that keeps them coming back for something more. And so every time that I provide a blog, and you guys can go to my blog, every time that I blog, <clears throat> I give them something of value. And then within that value, there's also something for free. So if you notice in my blog, there is something that they can get for free as well. And so what this is going to do, it's going to generate that trust, that value. It's building your brand. It's giving credibility of who you are. And they're going to look at you as someone that's resourceful and very valuable. So you want to stop and think about what it is that you can provide. So no matter where you're at or what company you're with, you could be a, a beauty company. You could be um, a nail company. You could be health and wellness. Um, you could be travel. It could be anything within your niche that you can provide something of value. You just need to stop and think about what that is. Let's just say it's um, travel. You sell travel. Um, and the giveaway that you could provide is um, maybe it's five things to help you um, pack lighter when you're traveling or to keep you safe when traveling or five key essential things to ensure that you have when you're traveling or to help traveling easier. Um, <clears throat> something, you know, you just, you got to think about what it is your clients are wanting. And that's something else. You got to think about who your clients are and who it is you're trying to attract. So you know what you can provide them and offer them. So when you have that, you're going to go back to your website. You're going to create that content. You guys, you're going to go back to your website and that is going to be the first thing that they're going to see when they go to your website. So they can click that free download. Okay. So if you don't have this yet, it's okay. Don't freak out. <laughs> I'm going to give you a resource and it's going to be below this video of where you can go and get some ideas. Um, and it's, it's also a place where you can go and purchase free content that, well, it's not free to you. You can purchase the content and provide it free to your clients, or you can charge a small fee, but I recommend providing it free to your clients to get a good trust built and start up as you're thinking through it. But I really recommend that you create something yourself that's yours and has your name on it. Um, so I'm going to give you that resource below, but until you have something built, at least create your banner. I created this banner in Canva. I showed you guys how to do that on build your brand. Uh, and then also the next thing that you're going to want to have is kind of a quick introduction of who you are. And I did a, a quick picture of me. Some, some of you guys are a little shy and timid in front of the camera. I completely relate. I understand. I, I am that same type of person. I have that same type of personality. I am an introvert, you guys. I do not like being in front of the camera, but you are branding yourself and people need to know who you are and need to relate to you. So I really encourage you to get at that camera and take a snapshot of yourself. So give a quick introduction of who you are and what it is that you offer clients so they know that they need to come back to your site for more. Um, and then I just gave some quick, uh, I guess, 
buttons here to get to other places on my website so it's a really quick touch point and then I also down here is where they can connect with me so that was my home page now yours does not have to look like this you this is your brand you design it based off of how you want it to look this is your page this is your story to tell you create it how you want to but the most important pieces I feel like sh that should be on there is going to be a picture of you, your tagline, your free giveaway, and a little bit about what it is you're offering your clients and how you can help them and why it's beneficial for them to be on your page. Okay, so that's going to be your home page. The next page that you're going to want to focus on is going to be your about page. This is probably the hardest one for me and um, it's going to be telling your story. Okay, and so <clears throat> When you're telling your story, and I'm going to give you guys a guide on how to, to do this because this was something that I definitely struggled with on how to tell my story of who I was and what I had to offer and why it's beneficial that people follow me. But as you tell your story, you're really going to want to focus on uh, your your background, your history, you know, where you came from and who you are and tell your story. And I was vulnerable in here and it really builds upon my character and who I am and why I am the person that I am today. And then you want to also touch on what it is about your background that you didn't like. What is it that you did not like? And then you've got to touch on what you found. So out of all of that that you've been through, your background, what you didn't like, what did you find? What did you find? And then what is it that you can offer? So if you guys, you, you, you're more than welcome to look at mine and kind of go through mine. But you want to definitely tell your story. And I have pictures here so people can relate. And as they're reading through it, and mine is a little lengthy, um, but as we're reading through it, they're going to be able to see my journey to where I am today. So that's going to be your biggest challenge that I'm going to give you is your about page. Okay. And then we'll get more into resources and your blog and your partnering and your contact later. But those are the two biggest pieces that you should definitely work on at this moment. It's going to take you some time to build your homepage and most definitely your about page and the resources that you're going to want to use. I provided, come on, um, are going to be, <clears throat> oh my goodness, let me get there. Uh, it's definitely going to be my Canva. Canva, I absolutely love Canva and the link is going to be below. So Canva is the resource that I go to when I'm wanting to create great images and it gives you tons of templates and it gives you pictures um, as well to use for backdrops and backgrounds and you can play with the tool you can put text in front of it that's how I create my images if you want to cut out maybe an image of yourself and remove the background that you're on that's where I use the um, photo scissors and I, I did a demonstration of how I do that um, but I really love that tool. It's really simple to use. And you guys, if you want to get access to free pictures that you can use uh, that are commercial free or are free for commercial use, go to Pixabay. Pixabay um, is a great tool to go to where you can go and search on any word and it's going to give you so many hundreds of images that are completely free to use and you're not going to get in trouble for using any of these images on your website. So I don't recommend going to Google and just finding an image on Google and using that because many of those are copyrighted and you could get sued for using somebody else's image. So if you want to use an image, go to Pixabay, go find one um, that represents what it is that you're trying to say or look and um, some things you can use off of Google like a button or something like that <clears throat> but don't use an image because you don't know what is copyrighted and what is not a lot of the times so the safe way is definitely Pixabay I love that um, you can also use some of the apps like Pic Collage, PixArt, WordSwag, Photofy but if it, I find it a lot easier when you're building your website to do it from your computer, your laptop, instead of trying to do it from your phone, your mobile phone. Um, you're going to get 
to where you want to be a lot quicker and faster. So that's going to be my challenge for you is to build your home page and to build your about page. And if you really want to have a great about page, do a video, you guys. Do a video and have it on your about page. And one of the great things here about Wix is that you can include video on your site. And you just go to that add button, click video. You can upload a video that's from your computer or from YouTube. I recommend using the one from YouTube. If you guys do not have a YouTube channel, I highly recommend that you create one because as we go through the training of funneling and building clientele and bringing people to you, I do use YouTube in doing that. And it's a whole nother social media outlet that's gonna bring new clientele over to your website. So go and create a YouTube channel, you guys. Name it the same thing that your brand name is okay and start building that so it's okay if you don't have one there's no better time to start than right now so what you would do is load your video to YouTube and then you can mark it and I'm going to show you um, mine mine is still a little fresh so what you would do is Come on, there we go. So when you load a video to YouTube, but you don't want other people to see it unless they're on your website, you can do that. And how you would do it is once you load it or upload it, you would mark it as unlisted so that nobody can see it unless they have the link. And so what you would do is as soon as you load it, you um, YouTube gives you the link, you copy that link and in Wix, when we add it, I got too many things open. When you add the YouTube video, what you would do is click here, change the video, and add your, well, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Let me copy that and paste your YouTube link in there. And there it is amazing right you guys i love wix it's so user friendly so easy to use and once you guys have your home page and your about page built you can publish and then you can kind of see what it looks like and let us know that it is ready so we can go and look at it and kind of give you some feedback in our building um business empire group so we can cheer you on okay